Last year, California lawmakers reclassified gig workers as employees. The goal was to boost their pay and benefits, but some rideshare drivers say the new rules could put them out of work unless voters pass Proposition 22 in November. CBS 2's Rachel Kim has more. We were desperate and we needed a solution for ourselves as full-time working moms trying to get everybody where they need to go and it was just a huge struggle. Joanna McFarland says that's the reason she and her co-founders started Hop Skip Drive five years ago. She tells us it's a safe ride service for kids ages six and up that can be accessed through a mobile app or on their website. Their care drivers are thoroughly vetted in person, background checked, and they must have five years of child care experience. Most of the 5,000 care drivers in California are women of color. McFarland says they enjoy the safety, the prearranged rides, and the ability to choose when and for how long they want to drive. We work with families, we work with school districts, we work with counties, helping children who are experiencing homelessness or who are in the foster care system, making sure that they have school stability and can get to school. What Hop Skip Drive has in common with ride hailing services like Uber and Lyft is that their drivers are also independent contractors. This is the reason McFarland supports Proposition 22. Prop 22 would overturn provisions of AB 5, a law which requires companies who employ gig workers like rideshare drivers to reclassify them as employees. That would give them benefits like minimum wage, overtime, and unemployment insurance. Under Prop 22, drivers would remain independent contractors but would be provided with alternative benefits. Prop 22 gives care drivers what they want, which is flexibility, minimum wage earnings protection, 120% of minimum wage, access to health care contributions. It gives them occupational accidental insurance. Opponents of Prop 22 say its goal is to exempt some app-based companies from providing basic rights and protections for their workers and boosting their profits by denying them a minimum wage, paid sick leave, and safety protections. McFarland tells us if Prop 22 does not pass, it would be very difficult to maintain their employment model. I don't want to be a full-time employee because that would not work for me. Michaeline Mendoza has been a care driver for almost three years. She believes if Prop 22 fails, she'll lose her job and parents who rely on the platform will lose a valuable service too. I continue doing it because of just the love for the kids. I felt very like needed and wanted and just like I was giving back in some capacity. Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News.